This week we're going to talk about writing for the table. Now, when you're writing a spec script, you're usually just writing for the reader. It could be a producer, it could be an agent. You just want people to read your script, think you can write, and hopefully offer to represent you or ask to see more samples of your work or possibly even give you a job. But once you're working on a television series, you're not just writing for one audience. You're writing for several audiences. Obviously, there's the audience that's going to watch the finished product, the show on the air. But before it gets there, you have to write a draft that is for the table, which means that the, um, the actors and the crew uh, have their input on what works and what doesn't, usually by what gets a laugh as they read it out loud around the table. You're also writing for the network, and they're going to have very preconceived notions about what they do and they don't want on their network. You're writing for actors, and believe me, that's a very different skill set that takes a lot of different muscles, and you have to know the psychology of actors to write a script that they're generally going to feel good about and not give you too much grief as you try to rewrite it and incorporate everyone's notes. So that said, uh, this week we're going to talk about some of the skills and some of the attitudes that you need to write for the various audiences who will be reading your script. Uh, read the lesson, do the uh, exercise and assignments. This week you'll be covering a script. Uh, to see how other people write their scripts and formulate an opinion about what's good writing and what's not. And I think you're going to learn a lot from that exercise. So have a great week of writing, and I'll see you next week.